the inspiration is a quite Japanese inspiration, but with uh, inside there are one very famous uh, designer, Italian designer, is uh, Roberto Capucci. I want to make a, a very a shape very like an Italian designer, very very shine, uh, very smooth there in the front, and uh, very graphic on the back, very sleek, and uh, and the sculpture. This is the best way to do this shape. So the look today, we're slightly inspired by kind of iconic beauty meets uh, geisha. The lip shape is very sort of inspired by the geisha, slightly kind of doll-like shape, sort of heart-like shaped lips. And the skin is paled down, but it's very luminous. It's got this kind of almost plastic-like quality, almost a little bit like a mannequin. And we're really putting, you know, we're really combing through the hairs of the brows to really kind of give this very lush, thick, strong brow effect. It was very exciting to um, collaborate with them on this fantastic show. I'm such huge fans of these boys. Tommaso and Roberto are, are really brilliant at what they do. From the very first time they had their collection, 6267, I was immediately hooked. The point of view of us uh, is starting uh, from the uh, color of uh, Mr. Picasso, uh, the Italian couture of uh, Mr. Uh, Capucci, and uh, uh, everything is uh, to mix uh, with uh, the Venice masquerade idea of a Venice masquerade is uh, an ironic idea. Everything uh, mix, they transform this in uh, one uh, Japanese uh, idea of uh, the, the, the fashion show because uh, we working a lot with a mixed color, mixed fabric, and uh, at the same time uh, with uh, the uh, fabulous uh, stitches. Uh, they remember uh, like a uh, uh, obi of uh, the uh, Japanese custom. The silhouette is, uh, is different. We have, uh, for example, the mini skirt and uh, the longest skirt, but uh, the weight is uh, uh, really small is more feminine, they remember again the 50s years uh, because it's a really Mediterranean uh, silhouette. It's more easy to use the really uh, jogging skirt or sporting skirt. It's more difficult to work in the exclusive or elegant skirt. And this is uh, one uh, really focus on the waist. Very clever in how they put fabrics together, cut beautifully, very popular designers with our customers at Neiman Marcus. Every silhouette, uh, every outfit is uh, one singular outfit, is uh, one different in confront of uh, the, uh, another one. Uh, because we want uh, absolutely continue uh, the, the, the evolution of uh, our Italian culture. Uh, we want uh, to translate this in every pieces. Every embroidery they, uh, is uh, one translation of the our print, but uh, handmade uh, totally with uh, not only sequence, but uh, everything uh, is uh, handmade with uh, the crystal Swarovski, and uh, they transform uh, the color of uh, the print in a light, more uh, uh, more sensual at the same time, more feminine, but uh, at the same time is more more young.
is uh, one uh, particular uh, attitude of us uh, to work uh, more and more handmade because we are Italian and uh, I think is uh, one uh, really strong power of the Italian manufacturing. When uh, a client uh, go in Italy, he look uh, Italian manufacturing. Uh, Tommaso Roberto is Italian, Italian manufacturing. There's a real couture quality to what they do. And it's interesting, they're very directional. And what we see come from these young men actually inspires not only in Milan, but many times around the globe. We presented in a fashion show in a outfit complete with a top and skirt, but why not? In real life, it's possible to use one real beautiful top with the, 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 the jeans, leggings or not. It's dependent from the choice of the customer. The woman is uh, the same every time, but uh, the philosophy is the same and uh, she's in evolution every season. One time she's like the miniskirt, but uh, the philosophy of us uh, for the women is the same every season, because for us it's more important to dress the, the, the real woman. Mm -hmm.